What's up, good people? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. You already know what to do. Hit that like button. Never stop. It helps. It does help the page out. Hey, I just want to bring you the best information to help you on your trading and investing journey. Uh, let's get right into it. There's a lot of earnings that's going on. Uh, the market is proving itself to be very, very resilient. And I just want to go over a few things. I took a few notes. So let's get right into it. Um, we got, um, we'll get right into this. We got Starbucks and I'm going to come back to Starbucks 52 week high to date. And I've been doing a series on just consuming the things that you use. So we're going to, we're going to talk about that. Uh, Nike has been upgraded. So I'm going to go, I'm going to get back to Starbucks and Nike's, um, earnings season so far has not been bad. So earnings haven't been bad, you know, um, if you listen to, uh, you know, all of the talking heads, it doesn't matter the network. If the market is not looking good, then everybody's a bear. If the market is looking good just a few days, then everybody's a bull. It's funny how they do that. And, and so to a degree, you have to be ready to pivot. So short term, like uh, I've been saying all this week, short term, it looks good. Um, and Josh uh, stocks with Josh. I, I saw this week being good. Stocks with Josh see the month being good. So we were uh, both uh, right on that. As a matter of fact, I want you guys to listen to a 30 second clip that we did on uh, Sunday afternoon before this week started. Opportunity to come down. Yeah, well, Larry had said many times he's not trying to catch the bottom, right? He made his decision. I'm just characterizing. We and I haven't talked it. about this. Yeah. He wanted to pick a moment in which the market had hit bottom and possibly validated that bottom by moving back up, which is all part of the Wyckoff, uh, you know, schedule. Yes. And so that was Sunday uh, afternoon. It's important that you guys watch every video. And then we go on to talk about um, uh, in this video and the, I believe the video we did on Monday. Um, also talking about we see some short term bullishness. As a matter of fact, let's go right to uh, the charts. And so now if you're looking, you could see here that um, we retested back in October, the S&P 500 had a double bottom here, boom, and then it retested. So you're gonna hear a lot of the talkings, talking heads are going to be saying that we hit the lows back in October, all right? You're gonna be hearing a lot of that. As a matter of fact, we got right here. You could see where it, it, hit, it hit the bottom here in September, and uh, uh, then it retested in October. And what happens went up from there. And so we it, it, it had a, a double bottom, which is a sign. Right. And so now everybody's a, a bull, which short term is good. Short term, it's fine. Right. And so but you always say trade the market that you're in. If you could see all of the indices were up on uh, today uh, close, the Dow was negative at first. Then it came back positive uh, and it was just one of those yo-yo days as data is coming out. More and more data is coming out. We know that the Fed will next week uh, will be doing this interest rate hike. So that's going to be live. You guys know I'm going to be live with that, right? So the market is, is showing that it's strong and now it's a appetite for risk on now. So everybody that was risk off, including myself, is now risk on. I am not fully risk on. Just like uh, Stocks with Josh mentioned my, what I'm doing. Remember, anything we say is not a suggestion for you to buy, hold, or sell. You should get in when you're ready. Remember, dollar cost, I've been dollar cost averaging into all of these stocks, including Tesla, just in case, right? And so if you are on the trail to guess the bottom and you think, that that's the best way to be in this market. I know a lot of you got into the market after uh, March of 2020 and you just feel like I have to get the bottom. 
you know, like they used to say, you better check yourself or you wreck yourself. That's not the way this works, okay? And so I'm gonna continue to be steadfast in telling you guys what's true, even if we have a, you know, a nice Q1 of this year and, and, and it turns around and go the other way. I still have to tell you what I see in the short term and the long term, right? The micro and the macro. That way you could be a better investors, all right? So Visa and MasterCard uh, both had earnings and it's showing that c the consumer is still strong, all right? But here's what needs to happen. The dollar needs to weaken and treasury yields need to go down. So let's go into some of the things that I've been suggesting people buy. The things you use every day. Starbucks, look at that. So not only has Starbucks in the last year been doing very well, but today Starbucks hit its 52 week high. You see that? You see that good, good people? Year range, 108.80, it hit it today. And so what is that telling you? I got, I got something that I wanna tell you about that. Let's look at Nike. Last five years, Nike is up. Let's just call this uh, uh, 90%. Let's go to Starbucks. In the last five years for Starbucks, 95%. What are you saying with this, Larry? For those of you that are new investors or you know someone that keeps complaining that they don't have any money to put in the stock market, just tell them to buy the things that they're consuming. What did Apple do uh, in the last year? Apple was down just like everything else. But what did Apple do in the last five years? Apple was up 258% in the last five years. So what do we spend money on pretty much yearly? Starbucks, you guys with your gym shoes, Nike, Apple. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking about making a daily consumption portfolio. Maybe I'll put some uh, um, um, Walgreens in there. I'm not a big Walmart person. Uh, so maybe I'll put some Walmart in there. I'm just going to do, I want to do a portfolio, which I think I'm going to do because I'm trying to help the everyday person just build wealth. And I'm thinking about just doing a portfolio on the things that we do daily and the things that we consume services and goods and just see what the average American spends and just year over year show what we could build up if we simply invest in the things that we consume. So right. remember, you do what's best for you. I, like Josh said, am not chasing the bottom. I've been doing this long enough to know uh, that that's a fool's journey, right? And I'm just going to shoot it to you straight. What I want to see a sign of is that we've truly bottomed out and we're showing strong signs of going up because I will share with you guys that in the past, if let's just go to the Dow in the past, every single cycle, it shows that, oh yeah, we think we're out of the woods and then it ducks back down. Right. And then at some point we get confirmation, right? So right here, boom, somebody, and we went up, everybody said, oh, coast is clear. And then what happens? Boom. Oh, coast is clear. Then we come all the way down. Boom. Go back up. Well, it's over. It's a bull run. It's a bull run. Then boom. And then, oh my God. Yeah. Well, we're definitely done now. And then boom, it keeps getting lower and lower and lower. And that happens every bear market, every cycle. But as you can see, we're not going to go over this again. If you just stay uh, diligent with your dollar cost average, averaging, save some big cash for when things are, when you think things are going to happen, if you really want to go in. And in this cycle, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not going to fully go in with all of my cash. I'm going to take my 85% cash that I'm still in, which is more higher than that. And I'm going to break that up into a minimum of, of five pieces. And I'm still not going to go all the way in. All right. So I'm waiting, me personally, 
on a Q1 earnings of this year. That's what I'm waiting on. Larry, you may have missed the bottom. So what? I don't care because I don't have to catch the bottom, good people, because look at look at this. Look at this. I don't have to catch the bottom. All I got to do is just keep investing, keep investing, keep investing. Now you're going to hear a lot of talk about, you know what? Uh, the Fed could give a soft landing. You're going to hear a lot of that now. Why? We've had a good week. And so everybody's going to be a bull all of a sudden. But you can make money in these uh, uh, in these short term in the in the micro. You can make money by being a good swing trader and taking profits. Right. And then at some point when you feel that it's the bottom, that's when you go in heavy on good, solid companies this time coming out. There'll be plenty of hot plays when we get into the next bull market. Plenty of money to be made. And I will be feeding you guys all kind of stock, everything that the other guys are talking about. But I'm also going to bring stock that none, nobody's talking about to the table like I have in the past. All right, good people. We're going to leave it right there. Make sure you check out the links below. Moo Moo has free stock and so does Weeble. Download them both in the description below. Put $100 into each and uh, we're going to help you use those tools. Live, love, laugh and learn.